always look on the bright side of life. I hope you and your family are well. We're going to look at an idea from this week's Seja of Shmini, which lists the animals which are kosher and non-kosher. For the animals, we know that has to have two signs, it has to have a split hoof and it has to chew the cuds. But the Torah in our portion then goes on to describe that there are four specific animals which have only one sign and are therefore not kosher. And when the Torah does that, it does that in an interesting way. First, it says it does have this sign, but it doesn't have that sign, so it's not kosher. For example, the camel. It says the camel does chew it cud, but it doesn't have a, a properly split hoof. And similarly with the pig, the pig does have split hooves, but it doesn't chew the cuds. And in the teachings of Rabbi Fran, who brings a midrash, he asks the question, why not cut to the chase and say it's not kosher because it doesn't have split hooves, or it doesn't, it's not kosher because it doesn't chew the cuds. And he suggests through the Midrash that it, Hashem is modeling a very important lesson. When it comes to interacting with the world, we do have to see the positive, the good. Always look on the bright side of life. It uh, does have uh, the split hoof, but it's not kosher because it doesn't uh, chew the cuds. So we always look for the positive before we dive into criticizing and seeing the negative. So this is a powerful lesson for us when we're interacting with other people, we're interacting with situations that life presents us with. Start with the positive. Always look for the goods. There will be some difficult things as well, but when we start, our initial focus is with the good, enables us to approach life and people in a more healthy way. So always look on the bright side of life. Wishing you and your family a good Shabbos.